guys, today I'm going to show you how to make an origami monk. But the monk also looks like a grim reaper. So, this is basically what it looks like. So, anyways, right now, let's start folding. So, step one, fold it in half. And open it up and fold it in half the other way. Okay, and I'm going to be doing a giveaway of this lobster that I made in one of my past videos, my lobster video. So, if you want to win this, just comment down below and say something like hey can you enter me into the giveaway and subscribe so that's there and then you can take this edge and bring it to the middle but don't fold it all the way just make a little tiny pinch mark right there tiny small pinch mark Okay, now, you are going to want to take this point here and make a fold that goes along to there. So here, to here. Okay. So now, you're going to open it up and do the same thing here. So now, it's folded like this, and like this. So now, you are going to want to fold this edge down here. And turn this side. Put it here. Now, <clears throat> what you're going to want to do is, so you're going to open this up, and you are going to open this and pinch it down, and when you pinch it down, you want the this here to go here. Okay, <clears throat> now what you're going to do is open this and squash it. Okay, now if you're using the book, Extraordinary Origami, you can turn the page and right here, you're going to fold one of his hands up, and you're going to take the cloak and mount and fold this back. And then, before you do that, before you fold these up, you're going to want to fold this up and fold this up. Then unfold it, and you're going to fold it here, and don't make a point. Fold it down with that hanging out, and do the same right here. Okay, so now you can fold the hands up. 
and then you're going to fold this head back and open up the head pocket and curve out the cloak. So there is your Grim Reaper. I hope you liked the video. And yeah, see you on the next video.